Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to create this really amazing bouncing text reveal animation in After Effects and that too without using any third party plugin. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you'd never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So you can go to composition, new comp and let's call this main. Width and height 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can go with whatever you want. Just click on OK. So here we have our composition and we will begin by creating a new text. So just select the text tool and you can click wherever you want. And after that you can type whatever text you want. So I'm going to type motions. And you can just simply select this and you can just scale it up or down however you want. Just align it into the center of this comp. If you're not able to see this align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. And after that, let's make sure its anchor point is in the center. So you can do that by simply selecting the layer, holding down the control key or command key. If you are on Mac, then just simply double click on this pan anchor tool and it will make the anchor point in the center. So let's select this layer and press S. And I'm going to scale this up something like this. Yeah, this is fine. So we are going to add the bouncing animation to this text without using keyframes, but instead we are going to use the expressions. So in order to get the expression, you can just simply click the link in the description below and it will take you to this website. So it's motionscripts.com. And from here, you can just simply scroll down and just simply go to this section where it says bouncing overview. And after that, you have to just simply select this expression. So just simply select this and just right click copy. And now you can come back in After Effects and you can select your layer. You can press P and after that, you have to hold down the Alt key or Option key. If you are on Mac, then click on this stopwatch so that it will give you an expression area. And after that, you can just simply right click and make sure to select this, delete this and just simply paste it. So once you have pasted the expression, you can see that now we have our text. And if I press the play button, you can see that our text is animating and we can tweak this by simply changing these parameters. So let me just quickly do that. So the first thing over here, we have this T launch. So it says one. So that means our animation will happen at one second. So I can just simply change this to zero so that our animation will start at the very beginning, just like this. So now let's go ahead and change some of these parameters. So we have this elevation. So elevation is basically the ang angle at which our text will be launched. And this is very important because this will tell how far our text will go. For example, if our text is like launched at a 90 degrees, then it will just simply keep on bouncing on one place. And if it is launched at 75 degrees, then it will not go further. But if it is launched at something like 45 degree, then it will go at the maximum distance. So it's just the basic physics. You don't have to bother about it. Over here, we can change the elevation angle. So I can set this to something like 45 degree or maybe 50, just like this. So now if I play back here, you can see that now our text is bouncing and it is moving further. And you might be wondering that how can we make this text come from this side? So all you have to do is just simply go to this endpoint and just simply select the text and move it to the center of this comp. And let me just quickly add the title and action save so that our text is in the center. So if I move the cursor back here, you can see that now our text is coming from the left side. And let me just quickly change a couple of these parameters so that our text is not visible at all. So over here we have this velocity and let's just simply increase it to 2100. And now you can see that we have this sort of animation and let me just quickly again place it at this center. And now you can see that our text is barely visible. So we can just simply increase this a little bit more. So let's set this to 2200. And again, just simply place it in the center so that at the beginning our text is not visible. There you go. And in the same way, we have the other parameters. So you can play around with these values. So if I set this to two, now you can see that we have barely any bouncing effect. So it's completely up to you. You can play around with these values. So we are pretty much done with this 
part and now let's add some trailing effect to this so now to add this trailing kind of effect we are going to select this layer and then right click click on pre-compose and let's call this text and just simply click on ok now we have this text animation and we are going to apply a couple of effects on top of this but before let's select this press ctrl d to duplicate it so that we have another copy and on this one we are going to apply an effect called echo so simply search for it and drag it onto this so this will create multiple copies of it and over here you can see that we have this stroke of it so we don't need it so we can go inside the comp and if I enable the transparency you can see we have this black stroke which we don't need so I can simply select the stroke and just set this to zero make sure the layer is selected so now you can see we have no strokes and if I go back here you can see that now we have no strokes in our text and let's just simply play around with these echo parameters so the first thing that I'm going to change is the echo time so I'm going to set this to 0 0.003 so something like this and what this will do is it will make the copies to be like right next to it so we can increase the number of echoes by simply increasing this point and after that you can see that we have these trailing lines so let me just quickly select this layer and just apply a fill effect so that you can see what is happening here so now you can see that our top layer is just simply this layer with the fill effect but the bottom layer it has the echo effect so that's why it's creating this trailing sort of look now it's completely up to you you can play around with these values for example if you want more trails then you can just simply set this number to something like 50 or maybe 100 the longer the higher the number is the longer the trails will be so if i set this to 100 you can see that now our trails are like way longer so let's set this to 50 for now now let's add some colors to this so in order to do that we can select the bottom layer and we can apply four color gradient so just simply type four and just simply drag this effect onto this and after that you can play around with these corners and just make them closer now let's quickly change these colors so you can pick whatever color you want it's completely up to you for this example i'm going to quickly change this to something like these to the center of this comp and let me now you can probably select the top layer and we can delete the fill effect so there you go now we have this really amazing text animation and you can do one more thing like at the end of this animation you can just simply select the bottom layer and let's press t for opacity and we can just simply lower down its opacity to zero so that we don't have any kind of outlines just like this and you can just simply add more text to this by simply selecting the layer and let's press ctrl c and ctrl v and just open the new text layer and over here you can change the text so let's call this nations and you can just simply play around and you can see that we have this different animation but what if you want your text to come from the other side well you can just simply change the elevation angle so let me just simply select this press u twice and you can just simply change the elevation angle and if you want this to come from the opposite side then all you have to do is just simply do a simple maths that is you have to subtract this number from 180 degree so 180 minus 50 is 130 so i'm going to just simply put 130 over here and now you can see that our text is bouncing in the opposite direction so again we can just simply move ahead and just simply place it at the center of this comp just like this and if i go back here you can see that now our text is coming from the opposite side just like this so we can go back and just simply drag our layer and we can probably select it and press ctrl d to duplicate it and then again simply select these two effects and copy it and paste it onto the second layer so now you can see we have the text coming from opposite sides we can probably select this and just simply align them so select the top two layers and let's move this up and select the bottom layer and just move them down and you can just simply align them however you want there you go we can again copy these opacity keyframes and just simply paste it onto the bottom layer just like this so now you can see we have our bouncing text animation and you can again go into the layer and just simply type whatever you want and 
and probably select this and let's lower down its scale and if you go back here you can see we have changed our animation we have changed our text so this is how you can create these kind of animations so i hope you learned something from this video and the project file for these are available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download this and along with other files so that's it for this tutorial my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one these values for example if you want more tails then you can just simply set this number to something like 50 or maybe 100 the longer the higher the number is the longer the trails will be so if i set this to 100 you can see that now our trails are like way longer so let's set this to 50 for now now let's add some colors to this so in order to do that we can select the bottom layer and we can apply four color gradient so just simply type four and just simply drag this effect onto this and after that you can play around with these corners and just make them closer now let's quickly change these colors so you can pick whatever color you want it's completely up to you for this example i'm going to quickly change this to something like these now you can probably select the top layer and we can delete the fill effect so there you go now we have this really amazing text animation and you can do one more thing like at the end of this animation you can just simply select the bottom layer and let's press t for opacity and we can just simply lower down its opacity to zero so that we don't have any kind of outlines just like this and you can just simply add more text to this by simply selecting the layer and let's press ctrl c and ctrl v and just open the new text layer and over here you can change the text so let's call this nations and you can just simply play around and you can see that we have this different animation but what if you want your text to come from the other side well you can just simply change the elevation angle so let me just simply select this press u twice and you can just simply change the elevation angle and if you want this to come from the opposite side then all you have to do is just simply do a simple maths that is you have to subtract this number from 180 degree so 180 minus 50 is 130 so i'm going to just simply put 130 over here and now you can see that our text is bouncing in the opposite direction so again we can just simply move ahead and just simply place it at the center of this comb just like this and if i go back here you can see that now our text is coming from the opposite side just like this so we can go back and just simply drag our layer and we can probably select it and press ctrl d to duplicate it and then again simply select these two effects and copy it and paste it onto the second layer so now you can see we have the text coming from opposite sides we can probably select this and just simply align them so select the top two layers and let's move this up and select the bottom layer and just move them down and you can just simply align them however you want there you go we can again copy these opacity keyframes and just simply paste it onto the bottom layer just like this so now you can see we have our bouncing text animation and you can again go into the layer and just simply type whatever you want and probably select this and let's lower down its scale and if you go back here you can see we have changed our animation we have changed our text so this is how you can create these kind of animations so I hope you learned something from this video and the project file for these are available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download this and along with other files. So that's it for this tutorial. My name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.